morning everybody okay today we're going to be learning about multiplication with the grid and the front end method so we're looking at both methods they're both really effective methods um, and comparing them which one you choose to then frequently use is your choice because they're both effective but it's good to learn both so that you have choices yeah okay let's have a look at the grid method first what I've set up is a sum 2 times 25 and I've got it over here too 25 times 2 is the front end method so I'll show you both of those and then we'll look at 4 times 35 um, and which I've got over here too 35 times 4 all right so when we do the grid method we actually number split because they're big numbers and if we've just got a single digit then it just stays there Okay, I'll show you in a moment what happens when we go to um, more than two digit numbers, but let's start with two digits. So here we have 20 and 5 multiplied by 2. Yeah. In here, I can write it to start with, but once I get really fluent, I'm going to drop that, and that's happening in my head. 20 times 2, so double 20 is 40. And here I've got 5 times 2. 5 times 2, 5 twos are 10, 40 plus 10 is 50. Let's check it with a front end method. Here we go. Front end method means we start at the front. So I've got 20, yeah, and I'm going to multiply it by 2. Same thing that I was doing over here, 20 multiplied by 2. So I'm just recording that on the side at the moment. But again, once I get fluent, I don't need to do that. That's happening in my head. So 20 multiplied by 2, so double 20 is 40. And then I've got 5 times by 2, which is my 10. Yep, and I add them together. Notice that we add together these ones. Yep, once we've done our multiplying, we're popping them together to find out what we've got, 50. So I'm using two methods to check. Two effective methods. All right, let's have a look over here. Four times 35. So remember, I'm going to number split by my place value, my number. And here I've got four times 30. Yep, or 30 times four, whichever way you want to write it. It's the same in multiplication. Um, so four threes are 12. And I'm talking about 12 tens. Five fours are 20, 5 times 4 is 20, 120 plus 20 more is my 140. Let's check it with the front end method. Starting at the front end, 30 times 4. Okay, that's what I'm doing. 30 times 4, again, 3 fours are 12. I'm talking about 3 tens here. So I've got to remember that they're tens. Um, five fours are 20. So that's what I'm doing in this section. Five fours are 20. And then I'm adding all of that up and I get my 140. Okay. So another good reason to learn two strong strategies is then you can do a double check. Have I got it right? If you want to do a check that way. Absolutely. So first up, I want you to practice multiplying a single digit by a two digit number with both methods. Once you get good at that, um, then we're gonna move on to multiplying by three digits. Pause the video. Okay, everybody, we're back again after your practice time. And we're going to have a look. Let me just draw this up. Um, and let's pick another number, do one here too, 57, and setting this up here, and setting this one up. Okay, let's line that up so you can see it. Good. Okay, here we go. First of all, in my grid method, I have to draw up my grid. 
Now the grid is as big as I need it. So I've got one digit here, so I only need one row. If I had two digits, if it was like 52, I would have 50 and two, so I would need another row. But at the moment, I've just got a single digit. Over here, I've got 200 and 50, six. So I need three boxes, three columns. Let's have a look at this one here, the one underneath it. I'm gonna draw this one up. Again, I've just got one digit. So I just need one row. I've got 300 and 50, seven. There we go. All right, let's try this one first. Five times 256, five times 200. So that's my multiplication I'm doing in my head to work this out, yeah is a thousand um, five times 50 or 50 times five either way it means the same thing yeah five fives are 25 but we're talking about 25 tens and five sixes and 30 and i'm going to add all of those together i've got 1280 1280 Let's check it over here with our front end method. Okay, starting at the front end, 200 times by five, Oops. just like I did in my grid method. 200 times by five is my thousand. And then I've got 50 times by five, uh, which was my 250. And my six times by five, which is my 30. And then I'm adding them all up together to get my 1,280. Yep. All right, let's have a look at this one over here. Let's move it up a little bit so that you can uh, see down here when I get to that part. Okay, grid method first. Got four times 357, here's my 357. So in here, in my head, I am working out 300 by four. I know three fours are 12, but I'm talking about hundreds, yeah? So it's 1200, or another way of saying that is 1200. Here I've got 50 times four, so five fours are 20, but it's, tw it's we're talking about tens here, five tens. So I can't forget my tens. And then I've got seven fours. Yep, seven fours are 28. And then I'm adding them all up together. So I've got 1,428. 1,428. Let's check it on the front end method. Starting at the front end, three, no, not just three, but 300 times four. Yeah, 300 times four, or three fours are 12. And I can't forget it's hundreds from work, working with here. Yeah. And then I've got 50 times four. So five fours are 20. But I've got to remember I'm working with tens. Got to bring that in. And seven fours are 28. And then I'm adding all of these up. 1,428. Okay, your job is to create some three digit numbers multiplied by a single digit and practice your grid and front end method.